Okay then. Oh, all right. Hello, everybody. I was going to do some standard popper today, but nobody was playing. Uh, I got in half. A, I got in one game. So I decided to do a. Theros. There was my face. A Theros draft. Um, really? I want Whims of Fate. I want to be red. I want Whims of Fate to table. I want to take it. And then I want to go 100% in one pile. And I want to win. Other than that, there's a Raised by Wolves as the only good green card. Uh, there's an Acroan Conscriptor. An Acroan Skyguard. A Kragma Butcher. So basically, there's a whole bunch of good... White and white and uh, red cards, and one good green card, and nothing else. Uh, I have no idea what to do in this situation. Uh, I believe it comes down to a Crowan Conscriptor, a Crowan Skyguard, and Raised by Wolves. I don't know. I'll take the Raised by Wolves. I should have taken the Crowan Conscriptor. This pack has an Everflame Eidolon, which I think is amazing. A Shrike Harpy, which is okay. A Forlorn Sudama, which is good. Sudden Storm, which is good. Nyxborn Triton, which is good. Or a Swordwise Centaur, which is good. Also a Loyal Pegasus, which is okay. I think it must just be the Everflame Eidolon, though. Over the Swordwise Centaur. Oh, and I cracked the Theros Print run for people that are interested. Most of it. I'm not done yet. Because they changed some stuff. I'll explain when we get Theros back. Uh, I think I'm taking the Everflame Idol on here. Otherwise, I would probably take the Swordwise Centaur. Or maybe even the Nyxborn Triton. Or maybe Sudden Storm is better than Nyxborn Triton, actually. If that flying it would be so good. I'm just going to take the Everflame Idol on. Faded Retribution is not good. Whoa. Okay, these are not in the same print run. But these might be. I don't think they would be. Uh, so, I don't know what's better here. Sudden Storm or Nyxborn Triton? I have no idea. I'm going to guess it's Sudden Storm. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's Sudden Storm. Pinnacle is apparently a good card. I know Reap What Is Sown is a good card. This is not a good pack. So Raised by Wolves is just our first pick, so that's not really a signal. We did see the 3-2, but then there's a Reap What Is Sown. And we've seen two packs of good blue. And we passed a pack of good red, unfortunately, but something might something's bound to table. Hopefully red. Uh Pinnacle of Rage is I somebody said it was good. Who said it was good? Owen said it was good. Yeah, it's either that or say like a nullify, maybe a Crypsis. I guess Crypsis? I don't know. Okay, so there's an Astronomer. What's this? This is not good. That's not that good. Yes, yeah, so there's only... So it's the Chorus of Tides? Nullify or the Astronomer? Astronomer is good if you have enchantment cards, I believe. But is, is it better than Chorus of Tides? I think they're both better than Nullify. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Interesting. Interesting. There's a Nyxborn Triton, but there's also a Siren of the Silent Song. And, like, we can... We are not playing... We don't have to play red. There's also an Elite Skirmisher, but... Uh... So there's a Siren. That's a really good card. Uh, there's also a Nyxborn Triton, which goes good with the stuff we have already. So I don't know, but I, I think the Siren's the most... the better card. 
Okay, so there's a servant. Uh, there's also a Melitus astronomer, another one. But, yeah, I'm going to take the servant here. Whelming wave, blah, blah, blah. Nothing besides Stratus Walk. All right, here's our first pack. Uh, the rare Did Table. I uh, want to play it. Just because I want to play it. I want to cast it. And I want to put all my cards in one pile. But instead of doing that, I could take like a loyal Pegasus. Is a hate draft? No, I'll just rare draft. Uh, let's just take a Grizzly Transformation. An enchantment for the uh, Melitus Astronomer. Also draws a card. I'm not even sure what deck the Melitus Astronomer is good in. Just enchantment cards? Okay, so it does work with enchantment creatures. Because there was a one card that doesn't. It interacts with, like, auras. And that does not work with enchantment creatures. Um, I don't like any of these. Dawn to Dusk is a really good card. Thassa's Rebuff. I'm just going to take the other Grizzly Transformation. Uh, this is also... Mm. Scurring sounds for the sideboard. Forlorn Drifters. I do not want to play. Alright, so let's just open something good. Sorry you can see this, but like I want it to be close to my face so I don't have to yell. Because if I had to yell for an hour, I would be where I was last night. Yes. Okay, so this deck is mediocre. But I think we're in the right colors. And, you know, you can splash for Madomia the Ageless. You can. Otherwise, I th don't know. Great Merchant, I guess. But I'm going to take the big old Mythic. It's probably only worth a couple cents. Yeah. Is it? It's not even. I don't know. I'm going to take it because it looks fun. It will obviously be a splash because we're not going to see anything and we'll get something back from this pack. Probably not the Grey Merchant, though. All right. So this pack is terrible for us. Just the terribles. We're not green. We are blue. I don't, we, like, this is a good green back. Got one good red card in it. Rare was taken, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, Vaporkin or Dissolve is what I'm looking at here. That sounds terrible. Um, I guess just the Vaporkin. Need creatures. What? Well, I guess green was cut pretty hard. Yeah, green was cut really hard. So that makes sense. We could have we could have snuck into green probably just by how hard it was cut. Uh so there's a Nimbus Naiad and a Sea God's Revenge here. I have no idea what this deck wants. Like Sea God's Revenge isn't gonna be very good in this deck, it doesn't look like. Hmm. I guess I'll take the Sea God's Revenge, though. Okay. Ah, oh, here we are. So there's a Coastline Chimera, but there's a Returned Flanax. So we'll take that. And I don't think that's worth any money. I'll have to check. Opot is still there now. It's worth less than... Less than less than. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a Returned Flanax. Uh, another fanatic of Mogi. So I guess we would have been okay. No, we didn't really see that good red coming. So that wouldn't have been great. Uh, I'm just going to take the triad. I believe. I can pick up mana fixing later. All right, this is not a Mogi's Marauder deck. 
Question is, do I need another six drop or do I want the Farika's Cure? I think I want the Farika's Cure. Could be wrong about that. And is this our original pack back? No, it is not. There's an ordeal. I guess just breaching Hippocamp. That seems terrible, though. I don't want to play this. I don't really want to play the breaching cable either. I think giving this intimidate isn't so bad. All right, so there's a death bell right. Apparently, we could have been red too. Well, uh, no, I figured. Everybody would be fighting over red, too. Okay, so everything tabled besides the Grey Merchant. I think I just want to take the Shipwreck Singer over the Disciple. Is that right? I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to do it. I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to do it. Uh, do we really want any of these cards? Like the second Breaching Hippocamp? I guess I'll take an Ashfidel Wanderer. I don't want to... What? What? Okay, so there's only one green drafter. And they are to our right. Hey, where were you earlier? I was trying to play some standard popper, but nobody was doing anything, so I drafted instead. Apparently, I could have had a great green deck, just based on this pack. Uh, I'll take the card I will play, or might play. I don't want to play, but I might. Uh, Artisan Sorrow. I don't want to play Lost in the Lab. I don't really want to play Viper's Kiss, but I might. All right, open up money, because I'm sad at how this draft is going. No. Come on. What is the RNG doing to me? The best card for me in this pack is a Flesh Mad Steed. Or like an Opaline Unicorn. All right, so let's talk about the print run, since there's nothing to talk about here besides me taking Opaline Unicorn over Flesh Mad Steed. Do I have to work? Now I have patience for... Oh, okay. That's... Well, I wasn't actually blaming you. All right, so here's how this works. There are these three cards, I believe. Yeah, these three cards are in print run B. That mic, well, my voice is actually deep, but it does, it does make it better. I won't lie. I won't lie. I bought it specifically because it was like, we'll make your voice deeper. These are in the same print run. Yeah, uh, just, just uh, this one. I didn't, I don't have them all. I've got to do some more statistics. And then these two are in the same print run. And then, so these five are in the same print run. And I'm gonna take an opaline, opaline unicorn. Ooh, okay. Well, my deck just got better. I have an agent of fates. It looks like I don't know what they took. I don't think agent of fates is worth anything. Another fire drinker Seder? There's just nothing for me in this pack either. I don't know. I guess I should have been red? In green, I don't know what's going on. I got some weird signals then. I'll have to rewatch this draft. I figured out most of the print run. I'm missing the order of a Wingsteed Rider and an Ashfidel Wanderer. I don't know what order they go in. And I'm missing a whole bunch of other irrelevant, mostly irrelevant stuff because it doesn't give you any information. Uh, what am I doing here? This is, this is ridiculous, honestly. 
This is ridiculous. I don't want to play March of the... I, I don't want to play two unicorns, though. <laughs> this is so bad. I guess I'll take another unicorn. All right, I'm done. Draft over. Draft over. Guess I should have been green. I don't... I guess no one's green. I guess that's what happened. No one was green in the first pack. And apparently no one was red. Despite the fact that I... Yeah. Draft over. Draft over. This, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Fail fly to lawn. Uh, yeah, scourge mark. Wash Mad Steed Table. The great. It was the only other card in that back I could play. So, needless to say, for anybody that's been watching the draft since the beginning, things did not turn out as I expected. The Stride of Fates is terrible in my deck. I was like, oh, I'll get some gray merchants. It'll be great. Uh, uh, I could take a Flamecast Wheel as more removal. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play a stymied hopes probably. What? What? This is the third one I've seen. This is the third I don't know. I'm done. I don't know what happened here. I got all. I got like. I thought I was getting signals. I was just like, oh, look, a blue black card. Oh, look, a blue card. And then nothing. And then it was just green, red. Not white, obviously. White's always overdrafted in the Swiss. I also should have taken probably an Acroin Crusader first pick over Raised by Wolves. But I wanted to play with a Raised by Wolves. I've already played with a crew. And I could have played with Raised by Wolves, apparently, if I just would have ignored all the lack of signals I was getting. Technically, I can play the Crackling Triton. Alright, so I'm a blue-black aggro deck. Great. That sounds... That sounds like it'll definitely work. Good, I have a camera now. I can actually do face cues. What if I go like this? What if I move you? Forward. Pick off these. Can I read the... I can mostly read. No. No. My eyesight's really bad. All right, Shipwreck Singer, that, that. We're just playing all those. Probably playing both of those. This Leaf Count, this Voyaging Seder I got, like, ninth pick. I have to play some of these. I have to play that. Definitely want to play those. Probably Flash Mad Steeds. I don't. I might have to play. Buzzwalk, Astronomer... Crypsis, Reaching Hippocamp, that's too many cards already, alright, a lot of good green or red crew in the sideboard since many people, hopefully, place to be flexible, I didn't, I don't, define flexible, like I switched out of green red in the first pack because I saw blue black cards, and then I ended up seeing only green red cards from then on out. It was really, really weird. Okay, so I'm going to cut three cards, run 17 lands, and call it a day. What are my worst cards? Astronomer, how many enchantments do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that enough for Astronomer? I don't know. I don't think so. 
Well, Twilight Fates isn't actually that good in my deck, is it? Does it have any combo with anything in my deck? Feels kind Oh, it's even it's even worded so that if you flicker it or something, you can't do anything. Like this is not getting blade. That's an easy cut. Uh get two more. Screech mark. Only have the one creature. Oh, I've got some flyers too though. Maybe just the one opaline unicorn. Oh, I guess I can run one of these. Yes, I can run one of these. Astronomer? Do I really want to be putting cards, these kind of cards? Like if I had, if I had, <laughs> All the cards came in the same pack. It was like Sudden Storm or the 2-3 Bestow Creature. Three picks in a row. Plus other cards. Jeez. It's a terrible deck. It's the worst deck ever. <laughs> this is going to be some terrible rounds. I would just stop watching. I would just... This is my recommendation for anyone watching on YouTube. I wouldn't bother watching the games. Well, it might be okay, but it doesn't look like it just based on this pile and based on what we were seeing. All right, one more card. What's my last card? What is my last card? Yeah, sure, whatever. 179, that looks... Okay, yep. Yep, 1 plus 1 is 2 for this, that's fine, it's a 6 drop. Uh, 9 is okay, if I had any double black 2 drops, which I'm not sure there are any. Oh, and Jason the Mind Sculptor's in here, that's why the draft was messed up. I'll message him. That's why the draft was messed up. Jason was in here. Who might be streaming to... I don't know where, though. Yeah, this is the deck, I guess. Join me in the rounds. Oh, yeah, like, subscribe, follow. All that stuff.